right, you guys, it's MMFQ Death here with MMFQ Videos, bringing you guys another amazing tutorial that I know all of you out there will love. So, as you guys will uh, probably notice from looking at my channel for five seconds, the most popular video I've posted is an install tutorial on how to make Windows XP, Vista, and 7 look like Macintosh OS X Snow Leopard. Well, those of you who have watched that video also know that my links recently went down because they were on mega upload when it got seized by the FBI. Um, but we will prevail, you guys. We will continue to customize our systems the way we want and use the internet the way we please. So now today I bring you guys the latest tutorial, um, which also means I will not be upgrading or updating the links and recompiling my entire Snow Leopard pack because I bring you the new Leopard pack. Uh, if you guys really do want a Snow Leopard pack, continue to post comments on this new video. Um, and if it helps you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I will be posting new videos, and I take requests very seriously. I try to reply to every comment and every message I get. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump into this amazing pack that you guys I know are going to love solely because of the responses I got to the last video. And this is a lot simpler i'm telling you from personal experience the last pack trying to install it took me a good hour and a half to figure out and get all my stuff together this took me a good 15 minutes so as you guys can see the only download you will need to download this time and it will be a media fire link it will be completely secure so i never have to do this again just joking but anyway <laughs> all you're going to do is go ahead and open up the mmfq death mac os x lion pack and inside of here, you will find five folders, starting with Finder Bar, Left Sider, Lion Transformation Pack. As you can see, first is here because this is the first thing you're going to do. Mac Rocket Dock Skin and Rocket Dock Installer in case the Transformation Pack didn't install it because it didn't for me. Um, now, anyway, a few quick things we're going to go over first before we get fully into how to install and all that. Um, first, you're going to go to Computer and hit Properties, and check your system type. If you are on a 64-bit or a 32-bit, keep that in mind throughout this tutorial because you will need it. All right, so now you're going to go to System Protection and create a restore point. I am not liable for anything that happens to your system. And I will say this, I did not create any of the programs here. I have compiled them into a pack, and I am now showing you guys how to install them. The transformation pack for Lion is brought to you from Windows X Live. You can look that up on Google and go ahead and find it. Um, I will also post a link to their site in the description, so you guys can go there for all of your Windows customization needs. And also, um, the rest of it I've just pretty much gathered from scattered across the Internet. But... Like I said, not held liable. I will try to help you guys if anything does, God forbid, happen to your systems, but I'm pretty confident it won't, considering that this pack is amazingly stable and all of the features that I have put into it have been virus tested, including the transforma transformation pack, and nothing came back positive. Everything said it is completely clear of viruses and there's no worries here. So. I have also installed everything except for the finder bar, but I've done that in previous videos. And all right, you guys, let's uh, go ahead and jump in here. So now that you guys know that and you've created your store point, now we can start with the actual tutorial. You can go ahead and click on Lion Transformation Pack first and Lion Transformation Pack 1.0.exe. Now this will open up this. As you can see, Windows X Live. Um, it is brought to you from WindowsXLive.net, and that will also be in the description just in case you guys missed this part of the video for some odd reason. Now, you can go through and select your settings. I'm not going to tell you guys anything about this because really, if you guys are smart enough to be able to find this video, you are smart enough to be able to scroll down some scroll down lists and select the settings you want. Now, right here, yours will say install. You will do that, and your explorer.e exe and some of the windows directory dll files need to be updated or changed so that this pack will run now when i say that i mean your explorer.exe controls all of this all of your icons on your desktop your start bar every program that's running 
everything will shut down except for the transformation pack in your background. You'll see a little box keeping you updated with what the pack is currently doing to install on your computer. And at the very end, when it is done installing, somewhere between two to five minutes for me, some other people out there with slower computers it may take up to 10 minutes, but I wouldn't guess that it would take anything or any time longer than 10 minutes. Um, it will come up and tell you that you need to restart Windows or your computer, actually, to apply the full settings and changes. Uh, just go ahead and do that. Let your computer reboot, and then we'll get started with the next part of the tutorial. So for me, I'm just going to exit out of this, considering that I already have it installed. And next thing we're going to do is Rocket Dock. Now, yours should install one. Mine didn't. It might have been because I had already had Rocket Dock before I had installed it, but we just won't ever know. So in case it doesn't, you can just open up the Rocket Dock install folder or installer folder, and you will see the latest version of Rocket Dock's EXE here, which is Rocket Dock v1.3.5.exe. You can just double click that or run it as administrator to go ahead and start that to install. Um, next is the Mac Rocket Dock skin. You can just come in here and this is a very easy skin to install. There's no going into directories or anything like that. You can just hit macskin.exe. It will open up this uh, installer and you can select your language, hit OK. Go to next. And then here you can see mine is selected as program files x86. Now this is why I had you guys check your bit type. Um, if you're on a 64-bit platform, you will need to put it in the x86 Rocket Dock Skins Max Skin uh, folder like it already has selected here. All right, sorry, you guys. I had a little bit of an interruption here, but as I was saying, um, this is why I had you guys check your bit type, because if you are on a 64-bit platform just as I am, you will see the x86 here, and you will want to install to this folder that it says. It will default, however, to this folder, uh, hold on. It will default, however, to this folder. Now, if you are on a 32-bit plat, yeah, 32-bit platform, this will be correct, and you won't have to do anything. That's the only difference is on a 64-bit. After files, in between that and the slash, you will type space, double parentheses, and in the center of those, x86. Or you can browse to it yourself, but saves you a lot of time just to do that. Then you'll hit next, and you don't have to create a start menu folder, next, and then you can just install. Very simple installation, but I already have it installed, so I'm not going to. And then now we can move on to left sider. Now you're just going to open this up, and here is yet another reason why um, I'm having you guys, or had you guys check your bit type. Um, if you are on a 64-bit platform, some programs will use the 32-bit left sider. Like, for instance, Internet Explorer that is not Internet Explorer 32-bit, Safari, Google Chrome, any of the non-64-bit programs will use the original 32-bit left sider, which for you guys who don't know, the left sider.exe is the 32-bit, and 64 is, of course, the 64-bit. Now, if you are on a 32-bit platform, you do not need the 64, all you need is the left sider. And last but not least, finder bar. Now you may not need this as well because the installer should automatically install that, but again, mine didn't, so I don't know. Uh, you can just go ahead and open this up. It'll analyze the zip file in the executable file that is the application for Windows. You can select its path and then install it. I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to keep this theme. But all right, you guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this pack. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I take plenty of requests for multiple tutorials. So if you guys want to see how to make Windows look like anything else other than Mac, like Ubuntu, Windows 8, you guys name it, and I'll just try to make a tutorial on it. If not, I'll post to you if it is not possible. Um, you guys can PM me, and as always, you guys can reach me at my actual email which is mmfq underscore videos at live.com. That will also be posted right about here after I edit this. And all right, you guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys liked it. All right, bye.